a lot of things into perspective. I wish I was there, honestly. I don't know, I just feel like we've been pretty distant. I don't know, John, like, I'm taking my future really serious. You know, I'm looking at colleges, and of course I want you in it, but I want you to take your future serious as well. <laughs> Shani, like, I don't know what I'm gonna do, you know? What? Nothing. John, seriously, what? I have to ask about this, like, with you and Xavier, like, what's, what's going on? You guys seem like all friendly, like, best friends, like, are you really over them? Come on. John, you don't understand. He was the first boy I actually really, really liked. He was my first date. He was... Okay, but you didn't answer my question. Are you really over him? It's one step at a time Shani. Much for your mind. There's no need to analyze It's obvious that you still have something for him. I, don't, I just, I need to think about all this. I do. So welcome back to Queen Eye Rams World. You know, roll the clip. Well, that is not, literally, I don't even do that anymore. But anyways, the house is like a little bit tense right now. Yeah. So. Seriously. Isaac and I just decided to just get away and get away from all that drama and just have just a little bit of a long time. So I'm excited to just hang out today. The scene, I, I dig the scene. I know, it's so cute. It just opened up too. I saw it like opened up like two years ago. Yeah? yeah. Wow. Yeah. Interesting. It's been a pretty crazy weekend though. Yeah. Xavier seems better though. He's yeah. loosened up for sure. I'm just happy like Shani like pushed me to like start talking to him and stuff because I feel like yeah. he would just been like a grump this whole weekend. Yeah. And it just would have been weird for everybody, especially in Mexico. Like I was watching him and he was getting along with like everybody. Yeah. He was like playing soccer with like all the kids. Yeah. Which makes me happy. So I unlocked my phone and when I unlocked my phone I saw like a bunch of random pictures of all the orphans. There was like a picture of a little boy saying that he was guapo and I didn't even know they had my phone so. I'm pretty sure they had a crush on you, that's why. Who knows, honestly. 
Awesome, thank you so much. What the heck? So I don't tell me you killed the show, like you did really, really good. Yeah, um, I actually plan to um, continue singing in college. Um, I want to go to Cal State LA and I want to join the mariachi program they have. No, that's, that's pretty dope. What about you? Now that we have some time to talk, you know summer, is gonna be ending in a couple days. Sadly. We're gonna be heading back to school. Yeah. And then after this year, we're gonna be seniors. <sighs> so, do you know what we're gonna be doing after school? You're out of high school now. You can do whatever you want. What, what are you planning to do? Are you planning to go to college? Yeah, I'm planning to go like to college and just study uh, mechanical engineering. I know I wanna go to a four-year university. Okay, that's good. Um, I know that I want to study criminal justice, and I just don't know how far I really want to go, or how close I want to stay. What about you? I want to become a doctor, so I kind of want to go far, like cross country. Tell me story about the fall. So like, East Coast. But right now, I've just been working, trying to make money to survive, I guess. Wait, but like, why do you want to go so far? There's just like a lot of things that play into like coming out of high school and just learning how to be independent on your own, so. I just want to be off, away from family. I want to learn stuff on my own. But also, that comes with having to separate from you and your family, which is completely like heartbreaking for me. Because I've set up something that's special to me. Well, that's good. I believe in you. And if you put your mind to whatever you think you can do, then you're going to do it. And I'm very proud of you. Thank you. I appreciate it. If you were to go, across the country. Do you think that long distance is something for you? Um, I feel like, you know, there's a stigma with long distance being impossible, mm. but I feel like me and you have developed something that's on another level. Yeah. So I'm willing to go for it, you know, late night Skype calls and stuff like that. I think I would be able to like handle that as well. I, I think we get along very well. We have something that many people just don't have either. Yeah. So, but yeah, I don't know if I, I would personally be able to just go across the country though, but I would be able to do that whole long distance thing, you know? I'm liking how we are right now. Me too. Really, yeah, so I'm looking forward to the memories. All my dreams came true. Let's just make the most out of these next two years then. There you go. Alrighty, I love you. I love you too. If you say we're through. Now let's eat. I'm starving. I'm looking forward to having some French toast. I don't think I'm gonna finish this. I'll finish it for you then. You're the only one who could ever break my heart. So Xavier, um, I saw the food in the kitchen, it looks delicious. Yeah, I'm gonna be grilling some stuff and cooking for everybody. We're just gonna have like a little barbecue and hopefully everybody has fun and likes the food. Oh, that's sweet. Hi. Ooh, hot. Yeah, maybe I should go and get started on all that. Preheat the grill and everything, so I'll see you up later, I guess. So where is everybody? I don't know, off on dates in lovely San Diego. Hey guys, I'm on a really nice date with this guy over here, but I'm also with this one right here. <laughs> hey, you already know, yo, yo, yo. So tell me, what are you expecting for today? I'm expecting to have some fun with you, mm -hmm. explore, learn, you know, all around, have a good day. So how are you?
are you doing? Um, I'm alright. It's just, honestly, it's like really difficult to see them together. And it just gets harder and harder and harder. Who, Matt and Vivian? Yeah. I'm sorry, Victoria. I mean, I know it's hard. I'm sorry. So before my mariachi performance, Vivian came up to me and she was telling me about you and how you weren't replying to any of her texts. Yeah, I honestly just don't know what to say. Things have just become so awkward between us and it's not the same. Well, I think you should just probably tell her how you feel. Yeah, honestly, I just don't think she's gonna like what I have to say, so. So do you think you're gonna be able to still be friends with her? After floundering in the way Please, Lord, bless this amazing group of friends in this room that nothing can come between us. I thought it was okay with you. That's why I asked you and I thought that we had your blessing. Maybe it's too late to apologize. 